Hi guys, um, before this video starts, I wanted to just say a couple things. First of all, I'm back. I'm posting again. I know I didn't post like all summer, but I'm back. Like I'm in college. There's going to be so much college content. It's going to be amazing. Second, I realized I didn't really explain what was going on for anyone who might be new to my channel. So if you don't know me, hi, I'm Cora and I am now a freshman at Chapman University, which is in Orange, California, which is in Orange County, California, which is by Anaheim if you need more clarification. But I have lived in Wisconsin my whole life. So this video is basically my move from Wisconsin to California, which was a really big deal for me. And yeah, also this video is just a part one to my move-in vlog because let's just say a lot of things went wrong on our journey to California. And so that is mainly what this vlog is. The part two is going to be me moving in, meeting my roommate, going to my first class, stuff like that. So get excited for that. But this video is so good. And it's like my whole trip out there. And it's very dramatic. And speaking of dramatic, I just wanted to quick say that the first like clip you're gonna see I don't know why I mean I know why I was so emotional but like it's a little embarrassing to watch back so if you don't like emotional stuff you can feel free to skip it but I figured I'd just leave it in to show you guys truly how I was feeling before leaving but I promise the video gets like funny like the whole thing is not like a cheesy mess like it just starts off with a little bit of emotional like clip but after that it all it all goes up from there except it goes down because things go wrong but whatever enjoy the video it's the night before I leave for California um, I leave tomorrow at about 6 in the morning. I'm not packed yet. <laughs> I'm working on it, but I'm definitely not done. I was just feeling really emotional for a little bit because when I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I don't want to be crying. I told myself I wasn't going to cry, so <laughs> I'll try my best, but it's not going so well so far. But I am so proud of the person who I am, and I'm so proud of myself for being brave enough to take this huge step. I get really emotional just thinking about my younger self and how when I was probably starting around age 12 um, I knew it was my dream to move to California one day and here we are six years later and I move in the morning and it just feels absolutely surreal just want to take this moment to say that you are someone who has a dream that seems like it's really crazy and seems like something you can't accomplish I want you to get out of that mindset and I want you to remind yourself that anything is possible if you put your mind to something you can make it happen and just don't let yourself give up on a dream because it seems like it's too hard to achieve. Honestly, the best adventures in life are the things that you work the hardest to achieve. So it's not always going to be easy. It definitely hasn't been an easy ride up to this point. It's definitely not going to be an easy ride tomorrow getting there. <laughs> The way I called it. That was some intense foreshadowing right there. And I didn't even know what was in store. <laughs> Getting settled in, I know there's gonna be a lot of ups and downs, but um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> it's 5.53 in the morning, August 22nd. And it's time to go. I've been sleeping late, and if I'm speaking honestly, my dreams are the only place thought of you can't bother me. And when I'm wide awake, it takes all of my energy To tell our friends we've never been this happy and our flight was delayed so we're just chilling here are my nails if you're wondering where i got them done i did them myself so and my ring is from natalie <laughs> our flight has been delayed nine hours <laughs> Yeah, what are we supposed to do? Like, we can't leave the airport because then we have to go through security. Uh, for a just out, which is 
that they are working too many hours I'm more than what they are allowed to. So now we are looking for a new crew to take your flight. We don't have a crew. I know it's very frustrating. I'm very frustrated. I'm so sorry. Um, so the only thing I can offer you is to have a seat. While we it out. Anyways, we'll catch up with you guys later. I have no idea what's happening with the flight. Um, there is no plane for us anymore. We are discussing <laughs> renting a car and driving to California, but the only issue is that my luggage that I checked, like every single thing for my dorm, is on this plane that is no longer our plane. So like, I don't know where it is. I wouldn't be able to get it back today. Anyways, they gave us a new gate, like in case a plane comes. So we're just gonna go there and see what's going on. Anyways, thank God we came two days before my move-in because <laughs> that would have been a problem. So I'll keep you guys posted. Guys, it is now five o'clock. I think it's like, I don't know, three or four hours since I last talked to you guys. Um, we got our dinner. Panda Express. It's different when you've been in the airport for like eight hours. But we do have a flight in like two and a half hours. So that'll be great. Looking forward to it. Guys, it's time. We're finally boarding, period. Eight hours after we should have left. Period. So this is where all hell broke loose. This next clip is after we had gotten onto this plane and then promptly been made to leave the plane once again. So that will be explained in a second. Where to start? You guys, it is nine o'clock and we are still in this airport. The airport is empty. And here's why, let me tell you what happened. Basically, we got to this airport around nine in the morning their time. And it is now nine. So we've been here for 12 hours. Um, they kept, when we first got here, they said there was like gonna be a little delay of the flight because of some maintenance issue. But so, by little, it still was a two hour delay. Yeah, it was a two and hour delay. Was a and our flight was delayed, so we're just chilling. So we watched the kissing booth three. As you do. We should reenact this. Scene. Yeah, we should. We kept looking at the screen and we looked at one point and it had changed. It had changed to a different time later. So we're like, okay, that's not good. And basically progressively over the hours, the time kept getting moved later and later and later. And no one could really give us any information on why that was happening. I know it's very but then eventually they were like, nope, okay, we got we got a new plane to come in. This new plane is coming at, at 8 p.m. So and it was nine hours after our flight was scheduled a completely, to leave. A completely different plane. So like, what could go wrong? Like, it's a completely new plane. It's flying in to us and we will be able to get on that and go. So we ate dinner um, and then the plane came and we boarded the plane. We're finally boarding at like 7.30 and we're sitting on the plane and the captain's like, oh, we finally got you all on the plane. Everyone and started clapping. And just, yes, everyone's like, so excited. Five minutes later he goes over the intercom and he's like i'm so sorry there's a problem with this plane i and can just imagine him like cowering in his seat like dreading having to announce this too yeah so he's like telling us like there's something wrong maintenance is coming to look at it they were like oh like yeah there's something wrong with the fuel they said we're gonna try to refuel the plane if you'd like to get off you can and wait in the boarding area or you can stay on well the nice guy in front of us said he was a, a mechanic and he was like yeah you don't want to be on the plane if they're refueling it so we were like okay let's get off so mind you like only half the people on the plane got off the minute we got off the lady standing at the desk was like there's a new plane coming it's going to b7 run and don't stop anywhere all of us who got off just start booking it guys we, they made us get off the plane they didn't make everybody get off they were like if you want to get off you can get off while we fix something so barely anybody got off and once we got off they were like there's another plane run to b7 and they didn't tell anyone who's still on the plane that there's this new plane so we're running Except all my luggage is on the other plane. So, I'm not gonna get that back. And basically, we heard on the way that they weren't going to be telling anybody who didn't get off the plane that they were getting a new plane and that there was another one for us to get on. So it was just gonna be us and it was just like whoever gets there. So we ran all the way like kind of far to across the airport to a whole different terminal. There was a plane waiting when we got here. Yeah, we got here, there was a plane there. We kept watching the screen to say when we were boarding, originally it was like 20 minutes. So we were like, perfect, this is gonna be great. Suddenly it switches to 5 a.m. And we're like, what well, must be a mistake because they told us to come over here. We see the plane out Side, it's a mistake. Spoiler alert, wasn't a mistake. Not a mistake. The guy goes in the intercom while everyone is standing around waiting and he's like, I'm so sorry. This is embarrassing. This has never happened. The flight is at 5 a.m. now. And everybody, I'm not kidding, like so many people were just screaming and they were like, what are you gonna do? Like, what are you gonna do about our tickets? You're gonna give us money, blah, blah, blah. Like people were screaming. Like I thought, Living. I thought people were gonna like strangle these airport workers. Oh no, I'm not 
We're still at the airport. We have now booked a hotel. We have a flight tomorrow morning at 8 in the morning. So we have to take a taxi to this hotel, go to bed, get up and come back here at like 6 in the morning and do this all again. Basically, I have a feeling this is going to be a two-part move-in vlog now because I think I'm going to have too much footage. Um, I want to be really upset. I am really upset. I want to cry, but I'm not going to because everything happens for a reason and it's fine and we just met some really nice people. Everything is fine. Anyways, I'm going to go. I'll see you guys at the hotel. We're at the hotel. Got to go to bed and get up bright and early at the fun time of like 5 30 a.m and go back to the airport i'm trying to keep the mindset everything happens for a reason it's gonna be okay it's gonna be fine we're gonna be fine so no stressing here all right all right oh it's a not a camera it's a pretty what <laughs> at least it's a little pretty but that's all arizona has going for it right now Okay guys, got breakfast, got an iced chai with with oat milk and it was made by the one and only Olivia Rodrigo. I swear to God, the girl who made this was her twin. Got a yogurt parfait and a blueberry muffin. Fingers crossed on the flight. Waiting for the right words to tell you how I don't want to be false, I pretend we're pictures. It's been a long 26 some hours, but we made it. I don't wanna be false. I make love like we deserve it to cover up what's hurting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got fried avocado. It's actually really good. I got a fish tacos. I don't wanna be false. I apologize for well i'm filming a kind of a lot but i'm not talking in any of my clips so what are everyone's thoughts on the campus very beautiful we did a little bit of damage at the gift shop his 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 wallet is 317 dollars lighter now 17 or 370 oh 370 oh. but you're gonna pay him back when you're rich and famous exactly there's the dorm pool some cute little like palm trees with the lawn area hope i'm not giving out too much information here but this is what my dorm looks like i just had to show it off because it's literally adorable are our names on it <gasps> oh oh look at our names are already on it our names are already on it Okay, so we are back from walking around. We got lunch and then just walked around at Chapman, which was really cool. Got to see my dorm, as you saw. We had a little <laughs> shopping trip at the gift shop, so I just wanted to show you guys what I got or what my dad got. Thank you, dad. <laughs> so first thing I got is this Chapman hat. I thought it was adorable. And then I got this pair of shorts. They kind of look like men's boxers, but um, they look super cozy. I have like the elastic band, so they'll fit really well. I have the little logo right there, which I thought was super cute. I got this t-shirt, um, which just says Chapman University, and then it says Panthers on the sleeve, which is adorable. I love when things have stuff in the sleeve, so major plus for that. And then lastly, I got a pair of sweatpants that just say Chapman University. That is what I got. So we are now gonna head to Bed Bath & Beyond to pick up some orders that I had placed back at home. And we're also gonna make a Target trip to get like a bunch of um, toiletry stuff and like food stuff for my dorm because I haven't gotten any of that stuff yet. So that is the plan. Um, Hi guys, sorry, I forgot to bring my camera, but that was probably a good thing because shopping was a little hectic and um, we got a ton of stuff at Target, got the stuff from Bed Bath & Beyond, to Barnes and Noble. Um, we just picked up our dinner. We got dinner from Kava. This is one of the best places I've ever eaten that. We got it when we came here to tour because um, there was one in the USC campus and it's like Mediterranean Chipotle. It's so good. Um, 10 out of 10 recommend. So you're gonna eat that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so hungry. It's spicy. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So good. <laughs> I'm just crying a little bit. <laughs> 